Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready for your routine? You mean a yoga routine? So let's start today. We're gonna start on the floor. Remember that there are some exercises that are difficult for you or you feel uncomfortable with them. Just avoid them. You always make sure that you don't have pain, but also that you are not forcing your joints or your spine. So let's start. Let's lie down on our back. So we're just going to take a couple of breaths. Remember to keep that deep and slow breath. So we're just going to inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Deep and long. Again, inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Remember that you can activate your epiglottis with that sensation of fogging a glass. Like a, you can exhale through your mouth and do like a, you are fogging a glass. But then you do it when you have your mouth closed. So you do. To make it longer, the breathing. This is called Ujjayi breath. And you can find that breath in other videos. They will help us to understand more other ways to breathe. So are you ready? Let's start. So we're just going to go from here. We're going to lift our feet. And we're going to move our feet. Just those to the tummy. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to keep the knees together. Drop your hands on the ground. Keep your tummy in. And we're just going to make a circle around. Just to release our lower back. We just go for four. And release. Let's go for a three. Let's go two. And just one more. Now from here we change the direction. We just go five. And four. And three. And two. And last one. Back to center. Hold your legs. And here we are going to squeeze the knees towards to your tummy, but just make sure that you have more the sensation of pulling your legs towards your tummy from your tummy, okay? So we don't overuse our shoulders, so relax your shoulder, relax your face, and we're just going to hold here for four breaths, squeezing the legs towards to you. We hold for four, inhale deep, let's go for three. Let's go two. And then release in your lower back. Just one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Great. We drop our feet onto the ground. And then from here, we're going to drop the knee on the side. The right knee. We're going to slide the foot on the side. When we fully extend the leg, we internally rotate the leg. And we drag the foot again. Okay, let's repeat on the right side only. So we drop. We slide, we turn in, and we bring it back. And one more time. Side, slide, in, and come back. And the last one, drop, slide, rotate internally, and drag it in. Let's repeat on the left side. So drop first the knee, a slide, so your foot is sliding on the side of the foot. Then internally rotate, so your leg normal position, and drag it in. And we just go drop, exhale, and we can inhale in the way in. So exhale, slide, inhale, drag in. Again, exhale, slide, internally, and drop in. And just the last one, drop. Slide internally and bring in. Now we lift the feet again, hug the legs, and we try to avoid put too much tension in our shoulders. So relax your shoulder, relax your face, and squeeze the inner thigh and pull the legs closer to you. So when you feel the sensation that your tummy is pulling in, you activate your tummy instead of your upper body. Let's hold here four breaths together. Inhale deep, relax in your face, exhale. Let's go for the three, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for the two, inhale, and exhale. And just one more, and exhale. 
Now, slowly, we're gonna drop your feet. Make sure that your heels remain under your knees. Keep the same width, hips, knees, and feet. Arms on the ground. We lift the pelvis onto the bridge. You can move your arms under your back, interlace your fingers, straight your arms, and rest the hands on the side of the little finger. And here we're going to press our feet on the ground, press our arms, open our chest, engage your tummy, hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep, and exhale. Press with your big toes, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for two, inhale, and exhale. And just one more. And exhale, we release our hands, we release the spine, we lift the right leg up towards the ceiling and we're just going to have the same sensation, we're going to externally rotate the leg and we're going to internally, so we kind of move the bone in the hip bone, okay, so the leg bone moving in the hip bone and we just go 10, 9, to give a mobility into our hips and our inner thigh, keep going, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Bend the leg, rest the leg onto your thigh. Lift the other leg and we go to the piriformis. So here we pull the legs closer to us, relax our shoulders, we use our tummy. And we hold here four deep breaths. Inhale deep without forcing. And exhale. Let's go for the three. And two, inhale deep, exhale, and just one more, inhale, and exhale, release, we're going to do everything on the left side, left leg come up, and we just go the rotation, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one bend the legs rest the ankle lift the foot pull the legs closer we hold four breath inhale deep and exhale if you feel tension in some areas rub your hand in that area it's gonna release you let's go inhale and exhale let's go for the two inhale and exhale and the last one, inhale, and exhale. We release our foot, we extend our legs on the ground and our legs all the way. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Now bend your legs, feet flat onto the ground, open your legs to the butterfly, place your feet together. If your arms are not comfortable over your head, just move them on the side, that's good. And we just rest here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Engage your tummy to don't overarch your back. Inhale for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Now move your hands under the knees, close your legs, lift your feet, squeeze the knees towards to your tummy, rest here, relax your shoulders. We go for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the release in your lower back. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Drop your feet back onto the ground. Drop your arms. Lift your pelvis again onto the bridge. You can interlace your fingers under. Press your arms. Open your shoulders. We hold here for four deep breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to and exhale. And just one more. Make sure that you press your feet against the ground. Release everybody. 
Now here we're gonna open our arms beside our body, palms facing down, cross the right leg completely over the left thigh, and we're gonna drop the knees to us to the left side. As far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground, and you move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep, and exhale. Try to relax your face as well. Let's go for the three, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for the two, and exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back to the starting pose. We're going to swap the legs. Left leg crosses over the right thigh. Drop the knees towards to the right side. As far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground, move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold four deep breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. And let's go for the three. And exhale. Let's go to and just one more. That's oh, good, everybody. Back to center and cross your legs. Lift your feet off the ground. Move your hands under the knees. Lift the head off the floor. We're rocking back and forward. And come back. Let me know in the comments if you would like that we play music at the background, in the background, very gentle, or if you prefer to have your own music. Because you know, sometimes like uh, we don't like the music the others have. So if you have your own music and you feel more comfortable, just let us know. Okay? Because sometimes we have the question if we should you put music in the background, but sometimes we don't want to make you bored with the same music. We move our hands just beside our hips if it's possible. You can keep your palms flat or your feet. You need to have your back straight. So if your back is not straight, you can always bend the knees to help you. And also you can put your feet if you feel more comfortable. But don't raise your shoulders, okay? So you keep your back straight. We're just going to go flex your feet and exhale, point it. And we're going to repeat. Flex and point. We go eight and get your tummy. Let's go seven. Let's go six, let's go five, let's go four, let's go three, and two, and just one more. Good. Now here we're going to bend the leg, the right ankle, I'm just going to move on the side. The right ankle is going to move at the top of the left eye. We bend the legs. Mm -hmm. It's the figure of four that we were doing this one. And we're just going to use our fingers to push ourselves closer. And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Good. You can flex this foot to engage more your legs muscles. Inhale deep. And exhale. Feel nice. The stretch. Never feel pain. Let's go to inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now from here we're going to release the right arm and we're going to twist the toes to the side. Here you can touch your foot with your hand or you can move the foot closer. Or you can just hold the knee to help us to twist the toes to the side. The solar of the foot is facing. Okay, And we just lift the chest straight our back. And we're going to hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for the three. And exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Now we're going to hold our foot, extend the leg on the ground, and the same leg was, same leg was at the top. We're going to cross it completely into half-facing cow. We'll let the foot rest on the side, and we close our thighs as much as we can. We're going to lean forward. We can catch our foot great. If not, just keep your hands resting on the side. We lean forward, and if you cannot lean forward, use your hands at the back to help it to push forward. 
We're going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Remember, no pain. Don't force your body. You cannot reach. Doesn't matter. Let's go two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Raise your torso, move the legs at the front, again dandasana, use your fingertips or your palms, and we just flex and point. Nine, eight, seven, and get your tummy, six, five, four, three, two, and the last one. Now the other leg, we bend the leg, first we rest it on the thigh, so it's like at the figure of four, move our hands behind, bend the other leg, then use your fingers pointing backwards to push you close to your leg as far as you don't feel pain. You can flex your foot, engage your tummy, lift your chest, we hold four breaths, inhale deep, and exhale, let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go to and exhale and just one more and exhale. Now we release the left hand, we twist to the side. So remember here you can hold your foot, you can hold with your elbow or you can press your arm against the foot. It's as, as whatever you feel is comfortable for you. We twist completely to the side of the where the sole of the foot is pointing, and we hold here for four. Lift your chest. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Always take time to breathe deep and slow. Release everybody. We're going to move our legs to the front. The same leg, remember it was at the top. We cross it and we let the foot rest on the side for half facing cow. We lean forward without pain. You can catch your foot if you can and not rest in your hands. We hold here. Inhale for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to and exhale and just one more and exhale. We raise our torso, we move the legs to the front, we hold your hands a little bit backwards to help you to have your back straight and we're just going to open our legs and we're going to close them. If you prefer to be leaning against the wall to have more support, it's fine. So let's go. We Open, we close. We open, we close. Let's go seven, close. Let's go six, close. Let's go five, close. Keep your back straight. Four, and three, engage your tummy. And two, and this time we keep them open. Good. Now we're going to lean towards to the leg and we're just going to do lateral flexion. Be careful with your feet. Keep them active or pushing away or pointing, whatever you want. And we just feel nice and stretch on the side of the body. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. As far as you can go, make sure that you keep both seat bones on the ground. Then slowly come up, everybody. You really feel it good on the side. Let's go other side. Make sure that your waist is parallel to your thigh. And then here we go. Two seat bones on the floor. Four breaths. You can catch the foot. Great. Just make sure that you move your face under your arm. If not, as far as you can go. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Remember that I always close my eyes because I really, when I close my eyes, I really scan my body, feel my body, connect me more with the breath to relax the areas I am stressed or oh, tense. Come up, everybody. So try it. Try it. When you are just close your eyes, do the full breath. Feel your body 
and then you open your eyes again. Okay, everybody, so now we're gonna twist toes to the leg and we're gonna lean. We can catch our foot or we can just keep the hands here. If you feel it's too much tension in your legs, bend both legs to allow you to go a little bit deeper. And we just hold here for four breaths. Four, the chest is pretty much parallel to your thigh. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. And we come all the way up. Oh, it feels really good. Remember, if you feel too much tension, you bend your knees. Make sure that you don't feel a pulling sensation in your muscles. We hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. Ah, oh, good. Raise your torso. Move your legs together. We're just going to do forward bend. So we can bend the knees if we cannot lean too much. It's important that we don't pull our tendons, our ligaments. So it doesn't matter. Bend your knees and really feel nice stretching your back and your glutes. If you have the full forward bend, you can go with the legs straight. But if not, bend your knees. Never stretch with strong pain at the back of your thighs or close to your knee or behind your knee or close to your glutes. So it doesn't matter. Bend your knees. Give it time to mobility. Let's hold for four. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. And raise your torso. All the way. Wow, it feels really good. Release your arms. So again, to develop flexibility and, of course, mobility, just try to do the mini routines every day, all the videos that we have every day, you 20 minutes to make your body more movable, to make stimulate your muscles as well. So from here now, you can come back to the beginning if you want to repeat the whole sequence. Remember, just click in the chapters and it will bring you to the beginning again, to the sequence, and then you can repeat. And if this is your time to go, so we're going to take our hands together, we're going to inhale. Exhale through your mouth, dropping your arms. Again, inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back, prayer position. Thank you for joining us. Remember that we are Sacred Body Studio. You can find us in Instagram as well. Follow us on Instagram. Like, share. Remember to subscribe and click the bell to get the notifications when we release a new video. I wish you good health and remember, keep moving to keep healthy. See you in the next video.